first job of the week here. We've got a Massey Ferguson 7720 Dyna VT with quite a bad oil leak. When you run it, there's just a constant stream of oil dripping down all underneath. Um, and that's why, as far as you can see upwards, it's just wet with oil. And this is after it's been washed off and it's been sat there to stop it dripping, so it's a bit nicer to work on. It's just wet as far as you can see up there. You, you can see where the oil's coming from right at the top, but you can't even touch it with your hands. So the first thing we have to do here is uh, take the wheel off. In Milwaukee, won't undo him. So we've had to get a bar first job, and then the Milwaukee will touch him after that. The wheel was a bit stuck, uh, but it, it come after a couple of shoves back and forth. I think that effort deserves a uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you very much. My mate Jack, he's helping me with this job here as he runs this tractor. He brought an axle stand, but I weren't liking the look of it, so I took my own out of the van and thought I'd better use that instead. Next job is to uh, drain the diesel tank, as that's going to have to come off so we can get on top of the tractor. We're going to have to get between the hydraulic pump of the tractor and the tractor cab is that's where it's leaking from you can't reach up underneath it to get to it so we're going to have to reach in sideways and see if we can find a have a rubbed through pipe or a loose pipe or not quite sure yet but we'll we'll see what we can find just got a 12 volt pump here pumping the diesel out of the tank into just like the donor tank we just got it plugged into the fault lifts battery and it pumps it all out quite quick. I think there's about half a tank of diesel in that. So that blue drum's about three quarters full. So that's done now. Next job, take the steps off and then we'll take the blue pump off. There's a few pipes, clamps, um, add blue tank. There's quite a few pipes and wires and things to uh, take off. So just gradually working through them just to pull the diesel tank away to see what we can Hopefully see we can see where it's leaking from. Because once we've got that diesel tank off, we won't be able to run the tractor to get a better view. Right, I've got the just taking that blue pump off here now. It's colour cable tied the pipes to the pump, so you can't get it wrong when you put them back on. And then on the top side we've got the add blue sender unit to take off, which has got add blue pipes that run to the pump into the exhaust. And then you've also got coolant pipes in there. Here we've got Jack. Uh, taking the blue tank off. The ad blue tank's ram jam full on this track because he just filled it up. So uh, because he's filled it up and we had to take it off, he got he got the job of taking it off. Careful, careful. But he's a big strong lad, he doesn't really know what he's doing now when he's lifting something like that off. Bolty time now. Jack's applying the gods. Very good customers these, keeping me fed and watered. Just about to take the diesel tank off now. He's got a saddle tank on the other side, so it's got two tanks one at both sides we, even though we've drained all the diesel out of it you can't get everything out of it it's so when we slack the pipe off at the bottom to be able to pull the tank off you normally get like a good a good bucket of diesel come out of it but unfortunately all the soil and all the rubbish all drops into the bucket when you pull a diesel tank off so it's normally no good that diesel after it's been contaminated and it's not worth the risk tipping it back in the tank for the for the arm it'll do right finally got the diesel tank off here now it's having to brush up it works in a lot of like really fine silt this track so everything is just covered in like really really fine like silt the closest thing you can get to it is really like cement dust but it just gets in everywhere but now i've got the diesel tank off we can see right underneath that right underneath there now and have a right good look see what we can find full drum of diesel a uh, full bucket of diesel there that's come out when we took the tank off and now we're just gonna have a, a right good look under the top and see if we can see what's been leaking just shove my hand in there and we're just gonna have a feel around and straight away that sensor there is a oil pressure sensor that's finger tight which is leaking that's that's got a doughty washer on it and as you can see all that's oily underneath it and it's dry on top so we know it's coming from there i thought it was one of the pipes around it to be fair 
But as soon as I put my hand on that and I saw it was loose, I thought, we know what it is. So I was quite happy that we found that fairly easily. But yeah, it's just, it's just finger tight, that. So we're going to unwind that off, have a good look at it, make sure it's not damaged, clean it up. Um, and normally they have a doughty washer on them, so we'll just check that doughty. But yeah, you'd have never, ever, ever got to that, um, trying to get to, trying to undo that from underneath, because you, you couldn't even see it. But well, that's the turkey that's been causing the uh, stream of hydraulic oil. Hi guys, for more video, like and subscribe. Thank you. That's the uh, special guest, Flory. He wanted to be on the video, so I uh, said you can be on it if you, if you say that. So don't forget to like and subscribe, like he says. It's, there's nothing wrong with that uh, bonded washer, but while it's off, it's not worth the hassle. So we'll, we'll just put a new one on, just clean it with some brake and clutch cleaner. Give it a wipe, get rid of all the muck that could fall into it when we screw it back in. And I've also sprayed the other end as best I can and clean that as well. So, new bonded washer, which is probably what? Couple of P, 10, 20, 30 P, something like that, if that. So we've put that on. Yeah, we've, we've tightened it up. We've, we've just checked the pipes around it, but all the pipes are fine, so we're set back to putting the diesel tank on diesel tanks really tight fit on this tractor um it's, it's like jammed in between there's like a bit of a wedge on the back side and there's an air tank at the back right hand side so it's we had to slack the air tank off drop it down a bit to be able to pull it out and then there's that much soil and rubbish and everything that you, you can't clean out that we've cleaned off before we put the diesel tank back on but yeah, it's not, a, it's not a five minute job taking that diesel tank off. We're just tightening that air tank back up now. And uh, we'll fill it up with diesel, put the add blue tank back on, put the add blue pump back on, put the diesel pipes back on, put this plug for the sender unit on. Um, fill it up with oil again as it drain most of the hydraulic oil these tracks have got you've got an hydraulic tank that does all your spools and then you've got a transmission tank because it's a vario the same as a fent and that just does your vario your transmission and your brakes and things all that's back together now steps are back on pulled the axle stand out we've jacked it up and we're just lining that wheel on uh, the wheel never seems to line back up again, so you end up skipping it around for big bar. And this took quite a, quite a few like jumps with that big bar to get it lined up. And then we just get it on here now. Put the first nut on, put the second nut on, and uh, run them up with a Milwaukee, sprayed them with oil first. And then my Milwaukee, I've had it about six years now, and it's... I think it's losing its edgy bit, so I have to bar them all up afterwards just to make sure they're tight enough. It's just running here for a few minutes, and it's, yeah, jobs are good, and it's right now. No, not leaking. You could see straight away that it wasn't leaking, so really good. Really happy with that. Thanks for watching.